we have realized that in the various schools, our senior women and senior male teachers have not got this training. And the training is to ensure that our female, senior female teachers and senior male teachers go back to their various schools and ensure that it is taught so that they will retain our girls to, in the school so that up to the completion of the education cycle. And secondly, we, are, we make we ensure that our girls also remain in school even during their menstruation because when they are taught menstruation practices, they will never sigh away. And it, is, it, is also, it also involves the boy child because the boy is, is, is supposed to support the girl child during menstruation when in the school because the girls sigh away during menstruation at times because they feel they, they are discriminated. To train the senior woman teacher and senior man teacher in all the primary schools and then secondary schools as well to take care of our girls. You know, uh, menstrual hygiene management is a very key component because when these girls are menstruating, they just need to take uh, proper care of our girls because we have realized that some of these girls drop out of school because there is no clear knowledge of, of give, uh, being given by our teachers to, this, to, to our young ones. But as of now, the teachers are going to be well educated and they will surely go out of there and then train our young ones. But today we have got more knowledge and we are going to help them more uh, with the knowledge we have got here so that they, they don't fear and they, they will continue with the education. And to the parents, we shall also continue to emphasize during the parents' meeting that menstruation doesn't mean your child or girl child is ready for marriage. Because in, the most, in most cases previously, parents think that when a, when a child started menstruating, that girl is ready for marriage. But today we have learned it is not ready. And today we have learned a lot of challenges these girls undergo, like painful menstruation, stress, loss of appetite caused by menstruation. Generally, parents also, they lack education during those days. You know, a girl child is supposed to be brought up properly from home. When they reach at the age of 10 to 12, you as a mother or a parent, you need to assure eh, this adolescent. Now you reach at this age, you, anytime you may experience this. When it comes, this is the way how you should take care of yourself. The use of the pad. Bathing uh, more frequently, this one is actually supposed to be started right from home before it reaches in the school to the senior woman teacher. To me, I'm seeing this is already lacking. That's why Plan International took this initiative of training the teachers so that they will help the girl child education in the various schools so that they complete up the circle of their education. No, they don't drop out because of menstrual issues. Hmm? Hmm. And even to the boys, changing their underpants at least twice a day is normal. Because they also have some secretions, which when not taken care of properly, it is a source of infection. Same applies to girls during menstruation.